Do you want life to be a comedy or a tragedy? The conundrum of being human in a world where our personas lead. A dear friend said to me the other day, suddenly I hit a strange wall. The void left by lack of ego has messed with me and I can't help but feel like I'm drifting through the theater of the absurd. When you step outside the scenes of your life, you begin to tire of the ridiculousness, tire of the pointless bull that comes out of the mouths of others, tire of the offended, tire of the offenders, tired of the entire theater. I know I can throw on one of my masks and play one of my parts, but I've reached this strange place. Sometimes I wish I were still deluded. Isn't that funny? Or is it the ultra clever ego yet again messing with me? I feel like there is something liberating on the other side of this weirdness besides a nameless, faceless ball of flesh, my friend says. To which I say, this human being, here as Jenny Lane, can certainly relate. Ah, welcome, my friend. You've entered the, what in the world is this even, stage. Now that all the various masks you've had to wear to suit others' egos can be put away in the prop room, it's your time here. And now. Some days it does feel like one is floating in space with no one else in sight and all the house lights are off but the people still sit in their seats waiting for the next show the key from this point for me is to continue being gentle to ourselves and gentle to the selves of others on their journeys because so many people are still feeling so strongly attached to their persona, their beliefs, identity, grooves of conditioning. It's challenging. Yeah, and also a weird-ass place to be, I understand. I do have to keep myself in check and not just shake people by the shoulders and go, let this all go and just be. It's why I've come around to, okay, I'm here on Earth. I am interconnected with everything in this existence. We are now time to interbe. We all are the all. That feels good in my heart. And I am this human, Jenny Lane, experiencing all of it. Wild, weird, annoying, fun, serious, but through the all of it. Who really cares what it is or why I'm here? Although I do stink, think about it, think about it often because it's a joy for me to think through. But as I am, I remind myself I am here now. You've got to understand a lot of it doesn't matter and does matter at the same time, if this is making any sense. G says, make sense if you don't think about it. And he's right. It does. Because we're taking the mind, the intellect, the need, the ego, the com the competition of smartiness away from it and simply interbeing. I am experiencing this experience and all of it's connected. It's all connected. The all, however one wants to symbolize it. Grounding helps me a lot in interbeing, coming back down to this pure awe of a planet we take for granted, standing on the earth with my bare feet, listening to music and just dancing. All of this beauty others have created to experience. What a world. It's exciting. And I'm so grateful to be here, even if it can be wicked uncomfortable. Breathing the cold air, listening to a friend cry about something she'll probably forget in a week. I'm here for it. I am fully present for all of it. There is a blissful feeling getting to this point. You may understand this. Sometimes I'm just outside looking at the tree beings and get a bliss moment of full connection, just full connection. And that's where I feel balance in the harmony of existence. Then to the being of, it's all meant to be fun and exciting too. <laughs> like Pierre Chardin said, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. What kind of spiritual beings? I don't fucking know. <laughs> but I know in my heart, without a shred of evidence to prove it, 
that it's all spirit, energy, love, God, whatever name, whatever sound, whatever letters. Nothing is separate. It's all, everything. We just feel separate. So perhaps it is to get back into separation and experience being this human. We just forgot.